hello everybody in this example we will switch around different colors by switch statements so let's start so first of all we will initialize a cube so we will go to our, our text uh, this uh, unity editor and here we can create a cube okay so cube is here and we can place it anywhere now you can see that there is a component mesh renderer with this cube already attached so by using this component we can change the color of this cube so now uh, what we can do we will come to script and here uh, we will just delete this these functions and then here we will create a public game object okay for getting the cube so we will say public game object and we will say cube or any other name you can assign this so we have just added the cube name so now in update function we can add some if statement so we will say if input dot get key down and we will add key code dot any key we can use we will say alpha 1 okay for one key so alpha 1 and then we will say that what will happen when we press the key so we will just add the function here in a minute and here we will add another key alpha 2 and third key alpha 3 and alpha 4 so we can make as many colors as we want so here uh, inside this uh, function we can directly change the cube color so how can we do that we can write cube dot get component we will pick the component of this cube and then we will say renderer because we want to change a renderer of this component renderer then whenever we get the component like this in braces we will put smaller brackets and then we will say dot and then we will get that what thing we want to change then we will say material we want to change material dot color okay and then we will assign the color and we, we can say color dot blue or black or any other color you can select it from this uh, list as well so we will select this one cyan okay so we can do uh, this thing like um, uh, in if statement as well but we want to use switch statements so for that purpose we can do one another thing so I will just paste it here for time and then for using the switch statement we can create another variable we can create a private or public variable private and we can uh, make it integer and we can say it next color okay so now we can assign uh, some values to this color okay so just copy this number and here we will say next color equal to zero maybe the first one and then we can just copy this and here we will paste it and we will say one two and three just we are getting the reference for our switch statement so one two three okay now we can create a switch statement so for switch statement we will add switch and then we will make the 
cases so first case will be 0 and similarly we can okay first we will create this case and in this case we will just put this code because we want to initiate this code over here so we want to make color cyan in first case and then definitely we will make it break okay so similarly we will just uh, copy this same line and we will paste it and paste it and paste it and then we we can make it case one two and three and we can change the colors here so we will make it blue color for example we will make it red color on third key we can make it green color or any other color and lastly we can add default condition as well so we will add default case and in default case we can just add debug dot log you can assign any color as well here so we will say invalid so lastly we will add break again and that's it we have successfully written a switch statement and now we will <coughs> test this statement and let's see what will happen inside the editor so let's move to unity and uh, yes actually we are not adding next color here so that was the problem so we should add next color here okay now everything will be fine hopefully so let's move to our editor and now you can see here on camera player script there is a cube section so we can drag drop this cube and now if we play the game hopefully with number keys we can change the col colors of the cube so cube gone because our camera is not set on this cube so we will just add the camera on the cube and make it zero 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 and then we will make it like this and then we can play so now you can see it has cyan color if we press 2 it's blue 3 red 4 green and if in any other condition it will have uh, error with that so you can see 1 2 3 4 so we have successfully added a color system with this cube by using switch statements so that's it for switch statements section in next video we will move to another section goodbye